I would like to um, uh, ask Jackie Wang to say a few words to us. Please. Well, 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 that's the fun part begins. Um, I know probably half of the audience uh, might thinking like, why this guy again? I promise you, I noticed that barbecue is on the way, so. Um, so I come on this stage for th uh, three times. So I'm my story gonna start with number three. Three years ago, I come to University of Groningen. Uh, during the flight, I was so excited about everything I was about to see, from windmill to cheese market, being overwhelmed with bikes uh, to being over, uh, uh, towered over by tall people like you guys. <laughs> I arrived at the Skeppo airport around 8 in the evening and took a train to, back to Groningen. Everything seemed so unfamiliar. The signs, clothes, weather, and even the gorgeous people like you guys. Inside of my heart, I could feel a sense of excitement and mixed with a sense of a bit nervous, a nervousness. I thought my wonderful and crazy Dutch journey is about to begin, but the gods sometimes send nuts to those who have no teeth. By that, I mean nothing comes out as planned. Late that night, I was on the train heading north. Then two men took my bag and quickly ran off the train seconds ago before the train door closed. My passport, money, and many important documents were gone. I tried to shout for help, but there was no one around me. Standing in the train by myself, feeling alone and helpless. All the excitement I had before vanished and went up in smoke. And I thought, why I choose to come to this place? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I still have my phone with me. I had no choice but called the uh, called admission officer of my faculty, Charlotte, who is also pre uh, present he here today. After a two-hour ride, I arrived at the central station here in Groningen. Just the second got off, uh, I got off the train, I saw a woman standing there waving at me. I can be easily recognized. I'm very popular here. <laughs> With her, within her hands, she had a bottle of water and a piece of uh, cheese sandwich, so Dutch. She quickly ran to me and gave me a big hug. After all the exhausting audios I, had uh, I have been through that night, that is what I really need. Charlotte took me to the police office and stayed there through the entire uh, process of inve investigations. By that time I left, it was two in the morning and I was ready to call it a day. When I arrived at my accommodation, I had expected everyone to be in bed. Not my bed, but their bed. <laughs> However, to my huge surprise, I met my housemate that night. And in fact, they are waiting for me until two in the morning. The hugs, greetings, and stories followed by helping a hand to unpack. This welcome really deeply Im uh, impacted me. A flower could not help me but bloom inside of my heart. I felt home, and I found my home here in Groningen. My favorite place in Groningen is the Martini Tower. Every time I, took, uh, I look from the top of the Martini Tower, I see the skyline of the city and the people working around in the Hotmar. Atop that tower, I had a sense of pride, a sense of accomplishment. This is the city where I live now, and this is the city where I call it home. My study life here in Groningen has not only broadened my horizon, knowing that sushi, that the, the, the sushi in Japan tastes different. <laughs> Latin American loves hugging, kissing, and dancing. Dutch people don't drink beers all day, although they do drink beers most of the time. <laughs> and most importantly, I also represent my country. Chinese people are not always good at math. But in fact, I am, I have to admit. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really good, but anyway. Um, my study life also have, uh, allows me to grow and become a better version of myself. It allows me to join the climbing association to defeat of my fear of height. It also allows me to join student politics uh, campaign and also the uh, uh, Honors College uh, uh, philosophy program that too allows me to touch upon the topic of Western democracy that I have never had that before. It also allows me 
to talk and debate with full confidence. And here I am, standing in front of you. So, who made those changes? The Groningen itself? No, the city doesn't have, may not have the magic, but it is the people. It is you guys, my fellow students, professors, and even the alumni. It is you, and also the citizens, by the way. It is you that make this place feels like a home. So dear professors, students, and alumni, I have a question here to all of you. How are you going to describe Groningen? And how are you going to describe University of Groningen? Inspiring, happy, or international? Or even there's more bars than the days, uh, years, than days of the year. That, or thousands of uh, associations that you can sign up for. Or even, uh, even uh, waiting for getting into the physics building while noticing the Nobel Prize winner is just behind you. I really want to take a selfie. Have no chance. <laughs> Unfortunately. Indeed, there are many things can describe Groningen. All the things I mentioned above are true. But from many to one, I will say home. Groningen is my home, and I believe it is also you guys' home, your home. That's it. almost done, so clapping. <laughs> um, during the opening ceremony of the academic year, like three years ago, I remember a miss, uh, Professor Popoma actually asked uh, every international student to try to pronounce Groningen in a very Dutch way. Now, Ms. Popoma, here is the time to test my Dutch. I will say a sentence. I tried this, uh, I prepared this uh, many times. Here we go. Ich hach niks boven Groningen. Popoma, hoot? Cool. There is nothing above Groningen because there is nothing above your home. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>